G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This is an eight-board BBO tournament that you can play by going competitive and then finding out what tournament's on the day. I usually play these on Thursday Australian time or Wednesday BBO time. And today we are playing imps, so let's see how we actually go. So I've got a nice 14 count 6-4 and I've got two choices. I can either overcall diamonds and then hopefully make it take up double later. Or I could just double now, which brings more suits into the picture. Um, I think both of these are reasonable, but I am going to double. I think they're both very close. Two clubs, forcing. Okay, so I'll mention my diamonds first. And pin my spades. I thought two diamonds might be forcing. Oh wait, my partner's passed, so... What is going on here? Okay. One, pass one club, double. Pass two clubs, 11 to 12 points forcing. Double? 12 plus total points. So I just assumed this was forcing. And they said I got hearts. And my partner hasn't doubled this. Let's try four spades. I want to, yeah, okay, so I've mentioned my diamonds, now said I've got spades, I've got spades. Alright, so, here we are. <laughs> they could have let me play in two diamonds, but we migrated all the way to five diamonds, which I have a spade loser, which I can trump. I have two heart losers. Um, probably going to lose both the hearts, but uh, draw trumps and lead hearts towards the king-queen. Can I eliminate clubs? So, I'm just thinking about... Let's just play that first. Um, if I rough a club now, draw a trump, ace, king, queen of spades, rough a spade, Rough a club back to my hand, heart to the king. They just duck it. So I can't actually um, end play them. So no end play, so I don't need to strip that. So let's just uh, draw trumps and take a nice easy line. Oh, just trump that. Trumpet club, just for good measure. Lead a low heart, and oh, ace gets the ace jack heart. So making five. Um, I didn't realize two diamonds was non-forcing. I would have bid more. Partner being a past hand, it kind of makes sense that it's non-forcing, but um, just didn't consider it. I was just thinking, let's try and find out where we got a fit. Anyway, five diamonds making. So how good will that be? People overcall diamonds, they'll get a raise. Five diamonds seems to be the only making game. We might be able to make four hearts, but that seems a bit of a stretch. Will everyone get there? My feeling is no. Um, if you overcall one diamond, you've got a fair chance of getting there. You'll, you'll get a raise, but uh, yeah. Anyway, board number two. I obviously wasn't meaning to make a non-forcing bid with my hand on that one, but a little bit sloppy. Capoletti, single suited, Double redouble. So my partner did stamen, so we'll show our spades. This is a very interesting auction. Okay, so my partner has nine points. And we're playing in a 4-3 spade fit. We got a club lead. Yeah, so my partner just had stamen and now just... Okay. 8 to 11 high card points. Balanced hand is the redouble. Okay, so my partner's got 9. I have 15, so that's 24. 16 points missing. Let's give 8 to east, which gives 8 to west. 
So Wester's bid on Ace Queen of Hearts and something else. Okay, it looks like. So I think West has the Ace Queen of Hearts. They've probably got the Queen of Spades. I think East maybe has King Jack of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds. So I'm going to finesse West for the Spade straight up. And I was protecting against West having four spades by finessing at the very first opportunity. Okay, uh, so we drew trumps, which I might have jumped the gun here, but you know. Um, it looks like I've still got two hearts at least, and a diamond and a club. So, I, I, I want to get... I think East has maybe five clubs, two hearts, three spades, three diamonds. I If that's the case, I mess... No, I can't really play the diamond because I could have... Like, I was thinking maybe I should have knocked out the diamond, but then they can get a club off, which would have been bad. So, I need them to duck a di diamond. Diamond, ducked, diamond, ducked. Um, I could play a club now. Let's assume that East has Jack 10 of clubs. And I play a club, they split another club. That guarantees me going down. Let's force out the Sacer Diamonds. No. Okay, so West might have two clubs, two diamonds. Uh, I, I feel like I don't have an entry to the north hand here to do anything about this. So it looks like I'm going to lose two hearts, a diamond and a club. So, just lose the final club here. I don't believe I can make it. But I know a lot about the hand. I'm basically playing double dummy here. And I'm down one. Yeah. So, I get spades right, but I'm still going down one. Like, you can pick everything about the hand. Because they showed 8 to 11 with East. And West kind of has to have 8 points. My issue being the, the entries here... Um, I needed an entry to my partner's hand to discard my club. But unfortunately, I can't do that without letting them rough the trumpet club. I want them to take the ace of diamonds. So maybe I sh like if I play a diamond early, then they just get the rough, which is bad. Um, yeah, anyway, four spades down one. Strange hand, that one. Really, really revealing about the layout of the hand, though. Board number two, so here we've got a 7-4-15 count. This hand's a monster, and it got significantly worse there, but I'm going to rebid my diamonds. And again. My partner is not having a bar of this. <laughs> Alright, so West maybe has six hearts and... Three spades? Okay. So I'm glad I didn't go for option one of underleading my diamond. Also, West only has five hearts, so I kind of think their... Uh, their heart bid was kind of strange. Uh, if, I, if possible, do I want my partner to try and trump the second diamond? So... I think I want my partner to rough the second diamond if possible, so I'm going to play the Queen of Diamonds. If they've got a singleton, they could trump it there, um, because they don't know what I've got. So Queen of Diamonds encourages them to actually trump it, and then they rough a club and so forth. Uh, but no, East had the singleton, so my partner's got three diamonds. Diamonds are seven, three, two, one. 
And I want my partner to win and give me a rough. Okay. Um, so they threw the, the club away. So that basically indicates that their clubs are solid. They also don't have that many hearts. They've probably got five clubs, five spades. No, six clubs, five spades. Oh no, five clubs, five spades, two hearts, and one diamond. Because their clubs are solid, we're not going to get any tricks in hearts, diamonds, or clubs left over. So the biggest issue I can cause them is uh, trump issues. So I'm just going to give them a rough and discard because they're not throwing away losers at this stage. But just trying to shorten their trumps. Yep, and they have the rest of the tricks here. No, my partner had the jack of spades. I thought they had the rest of the tricks because my partner wasn't trumping it at all. But three spades making three. My partner actually had a six count and never took a bid here. Um, but we lose two hearts. We lose two spades if I have to play spades. Basically, I'll have to lead out of my hand a lot. I thought that my partner might bid on this hand at some point, though. Anyway, East was 5116. I think we got all our tricks. They can get one more, in fact. So, plus one, quite good. Uh, but the main point here is when I know they've got no more club losers, heart losers, or diamond losers, the only issue they can have is trumps. So, trying to shorten them in the trump suit. It's valuable, so that's why I gave them a rough and discard. It's important to understand that rough and discards are usually a really bad thing, but not always. So here we got a 17 count. A little bit of no trump. Could have considered a takeout double, I could have considered pass. One no trump's probably got less effect against the robots that don't respond light, but. Uh, Okay, so club pass a heart, one no trump, dummy's got 10, 16 highs, I had 17 highs, so that is 33 points, east responded, so east has pretty much everything else. I want to make it hard for them to get to the east hand, so we'll catch the diamond and now I just put them... They're going to rough this, but uh, makes it a little bit harder for them to get between the hands. Okay, and they've roughed once with the east hand. My partner followed there, so east only has one more trump. So Queen of Hearts and they can't get off the, the dummy, so I'll get my Ace of Clubs. And they've got the uh, remaining tricks here. But beating this one seemed pretty good. Uh, plus a hundred, so... Can we always beat it? So the communication there is difficult for them. They can make it. So... What do they do with their entries? They take a club finesse once. So they can't get to their hand, but they might be able to end play me to give them another entry. So that's how I think they actually make it. Um, but plus 100, pretty happy with that. Uh, I think double's okay. One of the t reasons I overcall one no trump here is sometimes people respond like The robots don't though, so maybe it's not actually of value to bid a no trump here, especially when the opponents are vulnerable and might try playing a no trump themselves. Yeah, but uh, against human players that might respond really light, I still like to have the one no trump overcall. Board number five, this time we got a 13 count. Yeah, a bit of diamond. Four spades, okay. 
So it is just a support double. It's showing three card spades. My partner led the five of clubs, which is probably a singleton. No, doubleton. Okay, so West got to let go of a diamond already. Um, so they have two diamonds and at least five spades. My partner has a doubleton club and the jack of diamonds. Do I want to try and get a trump promotion? What's happening with all these hearts here? So East has one, one club, two diamonds. So they have ten major suit cards. So maybe six, four or five, five. Uh, with that information, uh, if they're a 6-4, they can't get rid of their hearts. They can maybe throw two away. So I'm going to play, try and get my partner a trump promotion. Okay. And let's see if we can get a heart trick now. So they're probably going to cross rough for a little while. I could have considered playing a trump. Can we beat this more than one is the real question. I don't believe so, but I want to have a quick look. Yeah, down one, best we can actually do there. So four spades, beating at one, pretty good. So the real question is how are we going so far? I think we're up a little bit. I, I don't think I've done anything particularly bad. I've stuck to the normal thing most of the time. Got my five diamond contract, four spades. I picked things to go down one, um, so that's okay. Then, yeah, I, I feel like I'm up a little bit. Uh, no great and glorious swings so far. But here we have a nice easy one spade bid. And here I just like to show my second suit. So, 9 points in dummy, I have 13, so 22, 18 missing. Got the Jack of Hearts lead, probably from Jack 10 to whatever. I got a club loser, I got some diamond losers, I might be able to chomp them. I could... I can take a club finesse, but I don't have any entries left. But what else am I going to do? They, they'll have to draw trumps if the club finesse loses. Okay, so here, ace of diamonds and a diamond. Then not drawing trumps. Does East have king 10 to 6 hearts? And... Diamonds, they won the jack, so I don't believe that they've got six hearts. Is there any harm in roughing this with higher than the two? I could rough with the eight, and then play diamond, rough it, jack of clubs, pitch a diamond. I think roughing with the eight's okay. Now I get to lead a spade, um, so at this stage, if I play a spade to the king, I've probably got two spade losers anyway, so let's finesse the jack. Okay, so they're both offside, so if I played a spade to the king, I was hoping for a doubleton jack of spades, whereas finessing, just hoping spades. Uh, the jacks on side, which is slightly better. Um, so two spades making nine. I think that should be a decent score. Got the most amount of tricks we could. Moving on to board number seven. This time we've got a 12 count. Start with one heart. And I'll just pass. Double here would be a support double. Uh, so my partner's showing a three card limit raise this way. A queen of diamonds is a wasted card. Okay, so 
Two diamond losers, bunch of club losers. Looks like setting up spades is a good ploy. Um, so diamond to the king. So ace king of diamonds with the east hand. Hmm, spade switch is interesting. Okay, so dummy's got 10, I had 12, so there's 18 points missing. East can overcall, they've probably got 10. Um, and giving West 8. Or 12 and 6, something like that. Ace, King of Diamonds with East. They could have a Singleton Spade here, so if I go King of Spades, Spade to the Ace, and that gets rough, that's not great. But how am I dealing with these losers otherwise? I could duck the Spade... And play a spade back, but then they just get to trumpet. I could win the king of spades and lead a club towards the ten. Uh, general, like, what am I doing with my club losers then? I think I really want this not to be a singleton spade. So we'll go king of spades and lead a spade. Okay. And now play another spade. Okay, we get to trump that. And Queen of Hearts. Alright, so... Ah, yeah, I was thinking, do, what do I... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that um, changes things. So East has two spades and zero hearts. So there's 6-5 in the minors. Um, okay. They're throwing all the diamonds away, which is promising. Okay. Managed to guess clubs in the end for down one. Yeah, so down one on the diamond late. Did the best I could, but the 5 nil split was a bit of a surprise. I was like, okay, I just need to play for spades to be breaking. Got that, and then, yeah, hearts 5 nil. <sighs> that uh, hurt a bit. So final board here, we've got uh, 15 counts, so one no trump. Transfer... And uh, three no. Okay. All right. So we've got three spade tricks and a diamond. The opponents have at least two diamonds they can cash and two aces. So if I can get three clubs, three spades, a diamond is seven. I need two heart tricks or one heart, one spade. Let's start with the clubs and see what goes on. Okay, and they're holding it up. Okay, and they got the spade switch here, which is good. Now if East went like Queen of Diamonds Diamond, I'd be down. Um, so I want to play a heart to the king. That will be bad if East has the Ace of Hearts. I could play a heart to the 10. Heart to the 10 is kind of a weird play, but if West has the jack of hearts, then that'll be okay. If East has the ace of hearts, I'm probably going down because they can switch to a diamond again. Um... That looks like there's ace queen 10 there. In which case I'm going down unless there's. Yeah, we'll just duck. Okay, down one. 
Oh, down two, actually. Minus 100. So they had four diamonds and their two aces. Nothing I can really do about it. Uh, yeah. I got one spade switch, but it, it really wasn't enough. Anyway, that was the three day long tournament, and we'll check out the results shortly. So the results are in, and I finished in 1,907th with 12.16 imps, but let's see who out of our friendship group actually did well in this. And the winner was Fleming MB in 7th place, so fantastic result with 43.28 imps. Smoochie uh, in 36th with 35, Chris 31M 118th, Adam Ash in 360th, Drew Olsen 592nd, Edgars 890 and Randwick 1 in 992nd, so well done to all of you. If you want to uh, join this friendship group, all you have to do is add me as a friend on BBO, uh, Slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2, post in the comments that you've done it, and I'll add you back. Anyway, uh, let's just have a quick review of the hands. So I won three imps for getting to five diamonds. Some people just got to four diamonds. Let's just have a quick look. There's one diamond and then bid three diamonds. Never really even got to mention their spades. And as you can see, their partner could have a spade fit. Like, your partner would bid the exact same way, swapping their mages around. So I think getting your spades in there is important on that one. Board number two, four spades down one. Some people got to three no trumps uh, when they passed over the redouble and their partner just said, do you have a stopper? So you get to three no trumps, which has four spades. You're kind of like just done on a heart lead. Like if they just lead fourth highest or even like any of their like four lowest hearts, you're just done. You get four spade tricks if you get spades right. A heart is five, a club is six, but they can get five hearts and a diamond. So you, you can make seven tricks. Um, but the robot's are too passive there. Uh, three spades on the nose. I lost three imps for this. So some people getting to five diamonds. They just kept bidding. Like, my, I, I think... Like, when my partner's passed, if I bid again, I'm showing a good hand. You're showing, like, 16 or more points, really, when you bid two diamonds opposite a passed hand. And then three diamonds says I got a really good diamond suit. So I, I'm happy with how I bid that one, but uh, didn't work out. Three hearts down one. So five big ones for this. Some people managed to beat it two. Other people let it make. So just having a quick look. Still with the one no trump overcall. Ace of spades, ace of diamonds, club switch. So now they sort of really got stuck on their hand. Whereas ace of spades, king of spades, diamonds, spade, means that you don't have to be on lead, which is not like... Because it's a battle of the points between south and west here, you really want to try and uh, reduce how many times you're on lead. Four spades down one, two hard-earned imps here. Lots of people just uh, defending four spades. Some people, they only got to three spades. So they competed to three diamonds, even though they've overcalled. One diamond's shown you a five card suit. You've got nothing more to say. I don't see why you'd uh, bid your diamonds again. Then two spades plus one. Uh, lots of people getting to four spades on this hand. So they bid one spade, two spades. Firstly, really like to show my, my second suit in this case. Then my partner just gives preference here. They don't know we've got eight spades, but my hand's really not worth it. Like, I don't, like your partner took the aggressive approach and bid three spades when they've got nine high card points and a doubleton diamond, which I agree with when you bid one spade, two spades. But when I bid one spade, two diamonds, they know their hand's rubbish, stopping low for five hard-earned dips. And all I did was show two of my suits. And the point here is if I rebid two spades, I'm showing six card spades. If I rebid two diamonds, I'm showing five spades and four diamonds. So I'm showing nine of my cards compared to six of them. So I think it's drastically better to show your other suit. But people are really opposed to showing their other suit. Three hearts down one for one imp. Um, some people bid and made four spades because they made support doubles. But lots of people got it. Uh, mangling the hand and going down a lot. 
And then finally, I lost one imp for three no down. Three no down two. Some people got out for down one, some people downgraded this hand and just got to one no trump. So overall, pretty happy with what I did here. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this free day long tournament. And again, if you wanted to join the friendship group, add me as a friend, slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2, post in the comments that you've done it, and I'll add you back. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.